Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe below. It's more of a fall slash vampy Halloween look because Halloween is right around the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If my extensions look a little off, it is because my hair has faded. So I... Definitely, I'm gonna go get that redone, even though I just got it done like a month ago and it's already fading. It's supposed to be a plum color, kind of like red and like purple. And they dyed my extensions too, which are foxy locks, by the way. Um, and they do not match anymore, so which means my hair is fading. So, I gotta go get that redone. But, anyways, I'm using the Estee Lauder Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. Um, I have oily skin, so that is pretty good. Um, I got it when I got my um, foundation, and they were like, you want this primer and these makeup wipes and, uh, oh, a foundation brush. And I was like, yeah. So, I didn't really like the foundation brush that much. Um, I'm more of a sponge person at the moment. I used to use a brush, but I haven't been lately. But anyways, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. But the point of that whole spiel was, is that I really like the primer. Because it keeps me pretty matte throughout the whole day. Even though I um, get pretty oily in my T-zone. So, I've been really liking it. I'm not sure how much, like, the actual primer itself is since it came in, like, a whole big, like, pack. But, yeah. Okay, moving on. I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Ooh, my hair. It's a really good dupe for the Naked Skin Urban Decay. I don't know. That concealer. <laughs> um, way cheaper. Um, I really want to try Tarte Shape Tape, even though I, like, I already know it's going to be good because everybody, like, obsesses about it, but I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't been using this, obviously. I'm home alone in my apartment, and I always hear the weirdest freaking noises, and it stresses me out. My roommate, aka my best friend, is at school right now, and... Ugh, I hate hearing weird noises. I literally woke up last night and I heard a huge bang. And I was like, what the frick? Like, I for real thought somebody was breaking in. But, I don't know, like, I never heard anything after that. So I finally went back to sleep. But, oh my god, like, freaked me out. <laughs> That's like my worst fear is like somebody like getting into my house, honestly. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder. This is a really good dupe if you don't want to pay for high end. But, I really like the Laura Mercier and the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. I think that's what it's called. But, for now, I'm going to keep using this. Although, it's almost out. I'm pretty sure it's only like $3 and it's honestly so good. I'm going to take a kabuki brush into this Too Faced bronzer, dark chocolate Solile, um, deep tan matte bronzer. Um, lately I've been using Buxom bronzer, but I found this and I was like, yeah, I want to use that. I'm going to be taking my Makeup Revolution contour palette. Um, I really like this. It's a good dupe. I'm pretty sure if I'm right, it's only like six dollars. I don't I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I really like it for contouring. And it has a lot of different shades. As you can see, it has some highlight shades. I really like the yellow one. It's a banana powder. Now I'm going to be taking another makeup revolution, a blush palette. Um, some of these I don't like because they have shimmer in them. This one fell out. Because, you know, I dropped it. But I'm going to be mixing two shades. I really want to try um, Tarte blushes. Because they have really good pigmentation. But 
I'm a broke college girl. I'm gonna be taking a wet and wild highlighter. These are really good dupes. I'm gonna be going in with Laura Pro Mega Two Palette. Oh wait, I didn't prime my eyes. Silly me. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I took the shade Custard in that palette and threw it in to set the primer. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Tawny above the crease. Then I went in with the shade Burlap in the crease, like right in the crease. And with the shade Tangerine and Goji mixed together, which is like an orangey red little mix. And I'm gonna throw that in the outer V to up to the middle. And this is another it brush, I believe, but it's a little bit more precise. Oh, it's so pretty! Ah! I love this palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cabernet. Very light hand. So now I'm gonna take a. This came in my Naked 2 palette. I love this brush, it's really good for putting stuff on the lid. I'm going to take some Glitter Glue from, I believe it's NYX, yeah, Glitter and Primer. This just like enhances the glitter, not that I need it for real because this primer is, or no, the palette is insane. I'm going to take a mix of Unpredictable and Unleashed, which is these two. So I'm just going to put that on the lid. And in the corner to brighten up the eye. Now I'm just gonna go back in with the crease brush and um, blend, blend it out. Ah, it's so pretty! Oh, sorry for freaking out, but like this turned out exactly how I wanted it. So now I'm going to take this Maybelline Lime Stiletto. And do my winged liner and I'm also going to be taking Ardell Lashes Demi Wispies and put those on and I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Um, so I went ahead and put on winged liner because that's what I always do. Pretty much. That's like my signature look. And um, then I put on those Demi Wispy lashes. Um, I just used this Mega Plush Maybelline mascara. Um, it doesn't really, I never really like pay attention to what mascara I use up here because... I'm putting on fake lashes anyways. I mean, I don't know. So that's just me. Um, I also went ahead and did my brows. Um, I used the Essence Make Me Brow Filler. Um, and then I used the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade. <clears throat> and um, those are really good dupes for like Anastasia and Benefit um, brow products. I don't remember what they're called. But those are really good dupes for them. Um, I used to use the Anastasia, but I like this one just fine. My brows stay in place all day pretty much. So... So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in NYX Black Liner on my waterline. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to do this because it, like, closes their eye off, but like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. For me, personally, I have big eyes, so, like, I don't even mind it, and I kind of like it. I don't put it all the way in the inner corner, but that's just me. Um... Then I'm going to go ahead and use, oh my god, I can't get it open. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a precision brush, precision brush. I'm going to go in with that tangerine goji mix again and put that right under my eye. Oh wait, no, 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 no. we're in a new Cabernet, my bad. I can't think straight today. We are going to put that shade under my eye just like last. Because I'm going to do dark first. That's just my preference though. You do you. Woo! Okay. That was that same. Woo! I almost dropped it. That was that same um, mega plush mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and do lips. Which is what's going to vamp this look up. We're going to be using a liquid Nix. Oh my god, I can't talk. Nix liquid suede lipstick. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to line my lips first. 
I just went ahead and used a NYX retractable lip liner. Um, it's lighter than the shade, obviously, but I just needed like a guideline. And now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes with that Lorac palette. Oh my god, I could use this, honestly, you could use this for like a regular highlighter. Like, it's so pretty! I thought to like honestly put some in there. Look at that, that is so freaking pretty. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, like I said, like, comment, subscribe below if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching!